Scabies is one of the commonest skin diseases affecting people the world over, and it is now recognized by the World Health Organization as a neglected tropical disease. But what causes scabies and where does it come from? Scabies is a parasitic infection of the skin caused by the itch mite Sarcoptes scabii. Where this mite that causes infections in humans and animals originally came from, it is not known. The first mention of a disease of the skin in humans and animals resembling scabies is found in Leviticus in the Bible dating around 1200 BCE. Scabies was later recognized as a disease in India, China, and the Middle East. The cause of the disease was first discovered by Bonomo and Sestoni in 1687 and was the first disease for which a definite cause was established. An estimated 200 million people are believed to suffer from scabies at any given time worldwide. In 2017, the World Health Organization added scabies to its list of neglected tropical diseases. Most cases of scabies occur in young children or in the elderly and usually occur in crowded, resource-poor communities, schools, nursing homes, daycare centers, refugee camps, prisons, and among the homeless. Scabies is endemic in many developing countries and is most prevalent in hot, humid climates. Scabies infestation begins when the fertilized female mite burrows into the outer layers of the skin, an incubation period of four to six weeks during which the new host may have no symptoms and may be unaware of their infestation follows. For people who have had scabies infestations before, the symptoms usually present much sooner, within one to four days of exposure, as these people have already developed hypersensitivity to the mite. Hypersensitivity to the mite, its saliva, its enzyme, and its feces causes intense itching and leads to typical lesions. Scabies can cause a wide range of lesions, which coupled with the fact that early infestation involves very few mites with no or minimal symptoms can make clinical diagnosis difficult. Diagnosis is usually based on the appearance of the rash and can be confirmed by examining scrapings from the skin under a microscope to look for the mites, their eggs, or their excrement. Burrows made by the mites are slightly raised silver gray, white or light brown thread-like structures that can be made visible by rubbing with ink before removing excess ink to reveal ink tracking the burrow. This is called the ink test. There are three major types of scabies, ordinary, crusted, and bullous. People with weakened immune systems are most likely to develop crusted scabies with thickened flaky skin and thousands of mites. People with ordinary scabies usually have less than 15 mites on their entire bodies. Bullous scabies presents with blisters on the skin and is the most severe type. Ordinary scabies lesions are typically found in specific areas of the body, such as the hands, the wrists, the elbow, the armpits, the genital areas, the buttocks, the feet, the waistline, and the breast. Intense itching, especially at night, is a common feature of scabies. But for some people, itching is mild or non-existent. Scratching of the lesions can lead to scratch marks or excoriations, which can lead to secondary bacterial infections such as impetigo, usually with Streptococcus pyogenes or Staphylococcus aureus. These can sometimes have fatal consequences and can lead to conditions such as sepsis, chronic renal disease, and rheumatic heart disease. Scabies is usually spread from person to person during prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact, including sexual contact. However, direct skin-to-skin -skin contact may not be necessary for people to become infected with scabies. People with the crusted form of the disease can spread mites in their bedding and clothing. Live mites in bedding, furniture, toys, and clothing can be a source of infection, and Sarcoptes scabii mites have been recovered from laundry bins in a nursing home. Scabies mites do not survive for more than two to three days off of human skin, but this depends on the temperature and humidity. 
items such as bedding, clothing, and towels that have been used by people with scabies can be decontaminated by washing in hot water, drying using high heat, or by dry cleaning. Those items that cannot be washed or dry cleaned can be decontaminated by preventing all bodily contact for 72 hours or by sealing them in plastic bags for seven days. Animals do not spread human scabies. However, if an animal with mange has close contact with a person, the animal mange mites can make their way into the person's skin and cause temporary itching and irritation. Fortunately, the mites cannot reproduce on a person and will die on its own in a couple of days. Scabies can be treated with topical permethrin cream and other topical agents or with oral invermectin where available. Newer and more potent drugs such as moxidectin, vaccines, and more sensitive diagnostic procedures are currently being evaluated. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can continue to bring you interesting topics on healthful living. Thanks for watching.